Marquis de Sade were a French post-punk band that existed from 1977 to 1981 and created two albums. Uh, they are not to be confused with the British band of the same name who were a metal band. Hi, my name's Dan. So this was the second album by the band, and it was my first encounter with them. I've not come across them before at all, and I knew nothing about them. Um, and uh, with these reviews, I like to give some context and try and uh, tell you a bit about the bands and the albums. There's not a lot that I've found out about this, so I can't really tell you very much of uh, the Wikipedia page for the band is very minimal. There's a link on it to this album, but if you click on that link, it takes you straight back to the same page, the page for the band. Um, so uh, we're left with uh, my description my, and my opinion, then, really. Uh, so uh, I would describe this as big, it's, it's kind of early 80s pop in the kind of slightly darker end of the. Uh, of, of that um, it sounds definitely kind of early 80s it reminds me of oh, all sorts of bands around the same sort of time Echo and the Bunnymen, Spandau Ballet the Cocteau Twins, it's even got Shades of David Bowie in there as well um, kept being reminded of a song by a band called The Adventures called them with a silent day there's a certain kind of tone of voice that was quite common then but actually some of the the processing and sounds used in the uh, in the production are very kind of off the time, um, particularly uh, guitar, uh, which is not distorted, but it's got what I think is a flange on it and a bass with a similar kind of uh, effect on it. Um, there's, um, despite this, I would say the really somehow managed to eke out their own sound within this uh, sort of space. Uh, they're obviously not English. Uh, they occasionally sing in French. Uh, they do at times sound to me more uh, more German, and I'm not sure I can really put my finger on that. I think it's it, it's the kind of the way they approach the, the singing that sounds a bit more um, uh, possibly, you know, more of a... as if they come from a Germanic background rather than a Latin uh, language background. Um, there's some good musicianship in here. I particularly like some of the work with the sax, uh, saxophone in here. Um, and uh, the, the the songs are fairly interesting. There's certainly a darkness to the, the lyrics. Um, there's a kind of feeling that they're not quite you know sort of central and um and sane <laughs> there's a little bit of an unhinged feeling to the whole thing um it, in a way that works i think um uh so there's uh, the first track is called back to cruelty uh, there's a track in the middle which is called um cancer and drugs which has got the line dance to the rhythm of my cancer i'm not really sure what they're trying to get out there um it's it's kind of it's kind of weirdly kitsch, but it's a bit of a grower. I enjoyed it more the second time through than the first time through. Uh, the last track is uh, a fairly nice instrumental, I would say. So I I think on the whole I I enjoyed it um, actually quite a bit. Uh, and I'd love to know what you think if you know this album. If you've got any more information about the band, also I'd love to hear anything uh, because I. I came up so short on this um, so that's it from me for now <laughs>